Hello, beautiful people. I'm so happy to be with you again. So let's cast a vision for 2019. We need to start the year with a vision because without a vision, there can be no goals. And without goals, 2019 is going to be exactly the same as 2018. And I don't know about you, so good things happened in 2018, but I don't want to repeat. I want 2019 to be a much better year than 2018. So if you want the same thing, let's cast a vision and let's say, set some goals, shall we? So my name is Hadassah Vitar. I'm a life coach and a wellness advocate. And it's my job in life to help you become the best you can be and to lead your best life. I'm particularly talking with the women after menopause, but trust me, if you are not a woman or you're not after menopause, I still want to talk to you because we can all do this together. These uh, ideas, these concepts, they are pretty universal to everyone. So let's talk about vision. What does it mean to have a vision? Because, you know, there's a lot of people talk about their why. The why that makes you cry. It's so important to find your why. There's a ton of stuff online right now, especially if you're in the entrepreneurial or self-employed space and the network marketing space, then trust me, there's tons of stuff out there right now about goal setting, about your why, and so on. But you know what? Here's a funny thing about just finding your why. And I'm kind of quoting Ray Higdon here, but um, who is a great leader. And if you are a network marketer, you should totally go and follow Ray Higdon. But that's a whole different story that I'll probably be talking about sometime in the next couple of weeks. But anyway, here's what Ray says, and I totally agree. That why, it's almost always external. And I know because for years I've been going around saying, I want to, uh, you know, make uh, some things for my family. I want to, to have my husband worry less about money. I'm really being vulnerable here. Things like that. But it's all outside ourselves. And you know what? Those are great whys. Those are great goals. But the fact remains is that I've been doing this for over four years and I have not achieved what I wanted to achieve. So why have I not done that? Because the motivation just wasn't strong enough from inside. Because true motivation, true inspiration comes from the inside. It's all very well to go and watch motivational speakers. And I love me a good motivational speaker, trust me. And um, I have friends who aspire to be motivational speakers and I totally support them and I think it's great. But Zig Ziglar said about motivation, you know, that it's like, uh, that it doesn't last. And he said, well, neither does bathing, which is why we recommend it daily. So yeah, listening to a great speaker every day is a is a great thing to do. And just really quickly, another recommendation here, the quote of the day show is a podcast. Uh, Sean Croxton, if anybody remembers the underground wellness, uh, all of that stuff, it was amazing. So anyway, so Sean is now doing um, quote of the day show and it's amazing. And he's got quotes from all the wonderful motivational speakers. And I love listening to it every day. It's not very long. So um, that uh, there's another side squirrel. <laughs> If you hang out with me long enough, you'll get used to the squirreling. Or you won't. It's all good. But anyway, so motivational speakers are great. Listening to the quote of the day show is great. Reading books is great. But in the end, the only change in your life, whether it's your health, whether it's your money, whether it's anything else, your physical conditioning, whatever it is that you want to change in 2019 as opposed to 2018, the only way you're going to motivate yourself to change is from the inside, okay? You can wear shirts like this one day or day one. You decide. Da -da -da. Great motivational shirt. I love it. I'm wearing it. But here's the thing. It has to come from the inside because it's not enough to aspire for things that you want to do or to have that are external to yourself. You have to become the person who can achieve those things. Okay, as uh, Susan Sly, another one of my great mentors, uh, as she says, you know, you can't achieve a million dollar life. Oops, I forgot to turn off the sound on this phone. Excuse me. Let's just turn off the sound here because we don't want to make any noises. There we go. My apologies. So, the as Susan Sly said, Susan Sly says, oh, try saying that five times fast. Um, as she says, 
you can't achieve a million dollar lifestyle with 10 cent habits. <laughs> you have to be the person who is willing to take the massive action. You have to be the person who is willing to be consistent. Okay, because you know, most of us entrepreneurial types, we are so squirrely. We are just off after the next uh, shiny thing and this is gonna be the thing and this is gonna be the thing and it's enough already. To commit to something. Don't go after the next shiny thing. And again, it doesn't matter if it's your health, if it's your finances, it's your uh, workouts, anything else. Yes, there are a million things out there and they're all good one way or another, but make a decision, look around, choose something and stick to it. Make a commitment, say at least 30 days, preferably more, 30 days, 90 days, 365 days. Make a commitment that you are going to be consistent with something, whether it's going to the gym. Oh, hi, Sherry. Nice to see you. Whether it's um, going to the gym, whether it's, um, you know, hold, uh, staying with your low-carb, high-fat diet. And if you saw my photo earlier, New Year's really did a number on me. No, I did a number on myself for New Year's. So, uh, yeah, starting again from zero, and it's all good. I know what to do, thanks to the Pro Edge Challenge. And it was wonderful. So, um, yeah, all of the things. You have to make a decision, and you have to commit. And here's the thing, is that 92% of people uh, set resolutions and then they don't stick with them. And why do they not stick with them? Because they have not committed to become the kind of person who does that sort of thing. I am now, after six months of going to this gym that I go to, Sublime, shout out to Sublime Strength and Conditioning on Main Street in Winnipeg. You guys are wonderful and I love you. I have become the kind of person who goes to the gym five days a week because if I don't, I feel unhappy. Not only does my body feel unhappy if it doesn't get enough movement, but my soul feels that something's missing if I haven't uh, got a serious sweat on at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning. So here it is. You have to become that person. It doesn't happen by itself, but it will happen if you are going to be consistent, if you're going to set up good habits. And uh, yeah, another recommendation. Oh, my goodness. I am so full of recommendations. I'm going to have to write down what I said and uh, post all the links in the in the description because otherwise you're going to be like, oh, but I can't find this. I can't find that. So anyway, so uh, if actually if you want the recommendations, then contact me. How about why don't we say it that way? I will be happy to send links for the recommendations for anyone who messages me and says I would love the recommendation for uh, uh, the Sean Croxton podcast or the or uh, what else did I talk about? Oh my goodness, squirrel, to come back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, message me if you want uh, commendations for the things that I've been talking about. So casting a vision. What if this were the year that you become the person who can achieve what you've been talking about for so many years? If you have wanted to become a person who is disciplined in what they put in their mouth, then can this be the year that you become that person? Is this the year that you become the person who just loves going to the gym every morning and feels bereft when the gym's closed on Christmas Day? Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do with myself. So if you are want to become the person who can achieve the goals that you want to achieve, maybe it's your maybe it's in your finances. Maybe this is going to be the year that you finally achieve what you want to achieve in that respect, whether it's saving money, making more money, investing. All of the things, I'm not an expert in all of those things, but I can help you become more committed in what you choose that you want to become. Yes, oh, Barbie Lee, yeah, I love to see you there. So nice, thank you. So thanks for the comment. Yes, Zumba in your living room. Oh my goodness, well, you know what? You know what the best exercise is? The best exercise in the whole world is the one that you like and that you're going to do. That is the best exercise for you in the whole world. And if you will commit to Zumba in your living room every day until you are strong and healthy and are where you want to be, then that's what you're going to do. So, Barbie Lee, are we going to do a Zumba challenge? <laughs> we'll talk. All right. So, everyone, just wanted to cast this vision for you. I wanted to say Happy New Year. I'm going to commit to doing 
Facebook Lives more often, to getting my podcast out more often, to getting my YouTube channel updated more often, because this is going to be the year 2019 is going to be the year that I am going to become the leader that you deserve. And that is my promise to you. So if you got any value from this uh, from this video with all the recommendations, oh my goodness, as I say, I'm going to have to go back over this video and write down everything that I recommended to you because so many things. Did I mention Riel Andrews? I don't think I did. There's another recommendation if you're looking for someone who right now is the leader that you deserve. Riel Andrews is someone to follow, but I hope you won't abandon me. And um, yes, if you got any value from this, please like, share, comment, and um, Go to my website, energyqueens.com, and to sign up every Monday, I send out a newsletter, and to, I just, I have some local events here in Winnipeg that I would love to see you at if you're local to me. So many things happening. So everyone, have a great day. Remember, I love you. Bye.